see yourself in the mirror and not see the cancer is very powerful. I'm so thankful now, hindsight, that everything worked out the way it did. I think I, going into it, didn't realize how fortunate I was to be embarking on this trial and to have the opportunity to keep my hair during chemo. There are stills, see what Brian sent you, there's stills of me with me. They are ice made of a special cryogel, but essentially ice packs that a woman has to wear on her head for, for about 30 minutes before chemotherapy, during the chemotherapy, and for a number of hours after the chemotherapy ends. The very cold temperatures um, cause vasoconstriction. It causes the blood vessels in the scalp to constrict and thereby not allow the chemotherapy to penetrate. It's cold, but it's not unbearable by any means. You kind of wear a blanket while you're sitting there. I could eat, I could talk, you just sort of get numb, actually. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Sigler, good to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. Carolyn, take a deep breath. Out. I think it goes beyond vanity. Um, being able to maintain one's hair during chemotherapy is empowering. It allows a woman to maintain her sense of well-being, her sense, her self-esteem, and her privacy. Carolyn was determined not to let her chemotherapy affect her life and mostly her children's lives. You look so much sicker if you lose your hair. I can't put a, a, a value on it because I was able to look like their mom to them every day and not look like someone who had a, a disease that could kill me. We were surprised as physicians that we treated the patient differently. It's very different when a patient comes in for her treatment looking absolutely fine. By keeping your hair, that is a part of yourself that you see every day and reminds you that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, that this is not getting you down, that you are gonna be a survivor.